Over the last few weeks, we've been looking at continental drift and the concept whereby uh, our continents are constantly moving on the Earth's um, surface. Um, obviously, we all know that in 1915, Alfred Wegener discovered, oh, discovered, theorized the uh, theory of continental drift. However, he wasn't able to find any evidence for it. And in the decades that followed, uh, scientists uh, used uh, or discovered a theory called the paleomagnetism or seafloor spreading. Uh, according to this theory, um, we are able to identify the movement of plates at divergent plate margins through the analysis of the seafloor. And the way they do this is because at a divergent plate margin, divergent plate margin, magma gets released in the gap. So as plates move away from each other, this is my magma, magma gets released. When magma releases, it really, it uh, creates igneous uh, basalt rock. And the igneous basalt rock contains iron oxide minerals. Now these iron oxide minerals always point to, and move, they move around within the rock, and they always point towards the magnetic north. Um, so in this case here, they're, they're pointing upwards uh, because that's where the magnetic north is. However, every 400,000 years to 450,000 years, the, the, uh, the Earth's magnetic poles switch around. That's not the same as the Earth's poles, the North and South Pole. It's completely different. The magnetic field swaps around. So for the 400 years that follow, all these iron oxide minerals point in a different direction. And the reason we know that is because uh, iron oxide minerals, uh, once they reach, they fall below a certain temperature of 580 degrees Celsius, they suddenly freeze and they stop moving around the basalt and igneous rock. And that, that uh, level of temperature is called the curry temperature. So basically, once, once iron oxide reach 500 degrees Celsius, they stop moving and they freeze themselves in the direction of the magnetic north at the time they reach that temperature. So in this case here, we can see that the iron oxides point north, they freeze as they cool down when they meet the water. Um, and then 400 years that follow, they point in the other direction, and then they swap around, and then they swap around again, and then they swap around again. And what scientists notice is that the sea floor at divergent plate margins basically is it mirrors one another on either side, and clearly showing that over time, continents drift apart and away from each other at divergent plate margins. And so this theory was able to back up Alfred Wegener's